Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another short video. Today, we're going to be talking about some recent news about SpaceX's Starship launch date, the FAA license, Starship S-26, the HLS mock-up, and JAXA's slim mission. In a public statement from the FAA, SpaceX's Starship mishap investigation is ongoing. The Starship launch license has not yet been approved, and there are several corrective actions that SpaceX must take to comply with regulations in order to obtain another license from the regulatory body. We can expect this process to take at least a couple of weeks. A launch this week or next is off the table for now. The fully stacked Starship S25 with Booster 9 is now awaiting the FAA launch license to complete its final pre-flight checks. Perhaps SpaceX rolled them out a little too early to test our patience. At the build site, crews are preparing to roll Starship S26 from the rocket garden to the launch site for a potential static fire test. A temporary road delay notice has been issued for this. S26 has already completed cryogenic proof testing a few times before the Starship IFT-1, and it has been sitting there at the rocket garden for a few months now with all six engines installed. Yesterday, we saw another interesting development at the build site. The HLS mock-up S22 nose cone was painted black and white. We don't exactly know its purpose because it's just a mock-up piece and won't even be considered for flight because it has TPS tiles and flap attachment points. The original design of the lunar lander doesn't have TPS tiles and flaps. Perhaps they are trying to bring back the shuttle vibes? Or does SpaceX have other plans? We'll have to wait and see. After the Indian Space Research Organization successfully placed its spacecraft on the moon, the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency has also joined the Lunar Exploration Party. The agency successfully launched its lunar lander into space. An H-2A rocket launched the Smart Lander for investigating Moon Slim Lunar Lander along with the X-ray imaging and spectroscopy mission satellite on board. The mission was successfully launched at 8.42 and 11 seconds Japan Standard Time on September 7. 2023 from the Tanegashima Space Center. All systems are go. The lunar lander is expected to touch down on the moon in February next year in 2024. The other payload, SRISM, is a new X-ray astronomical satellite that observes plasma in stars and galaxies. With a new generation of X-ray imaging spectroscopy technologies, SRISM will help resolve mysteries regarding the formation of the universe. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates.